My name is uh, Edmond Yakani, Executive Director of SEPO. I would like to share with the public that I hold a very constructive and remarkable meeting with His Excellency Vice President Taban Deng, Chairperson for Infrastructure Cluster within our framework of lobbying for political leadership commitment for the conduct of the looming election by December 2024 in time and also commitment for no extension of the transitional period, but ensuring that if we are going to hold election by December 2024, the required prerequisite for the creation of conducive environment for the conduct of the election as enshrined in the provision of the peace agreement have to be respected. But also it's a moment where the political leadership need to meet and make a political decisions at their capacity as principal of the party signatory to the revitalized peace agreement because time is running out. They need to make political decisions on matters of are we going for election with constitution or without constitution? Are we going for election population census or without population census? Are we going for election while we forget the return of the IDPs and the refugees? What about tra transitional justice in the face of the looming election? So all these are the concerns that I have raised and also the issue of open political and civic space without any form of restriction and availing all political and civic actors, political space at equal capacity. It means no restriction of any civic engagement and political campaign. So these are all issues that I've shared with His Excellency, Vice President Taban Deng, the Chairperson of Infrastructure Cluster. We have reached consensus that they really need to meet and make political decisions on some of these critical issues as time is running out. But also we discuss the issue of adequate and timely funding of the transitional political institution, namely the National Election Commission, the National Constitutional Review Commission, and the political parties, but also the reality that we need to go for election with one army, not two armies, one commander-in-chief, not two commander-in-chief. So the unification of forces also is something that is essential, need to be delivered before the conduct of the election, and mitigation of the ongoing armed deadly communal violence among the communities because these may affect political campaigns. So these are all the issues I've raised and I wish to continue my meetings with the other uh, vice presidents and including His Excellency First Vice President and later on we will call political parties to come together and share with them the reports of our finding and also we'll share with the citizens the reports of our meetings or of our campaign and I'd like to take this opportunity to urge religious leaders also to come up and take responsibility of mediating or reducing the deficit in trust and confidence among our political leaders for creation of conducive environment for the conduct of the election as scheduled for December 2024. Thank you very much.